Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so Stone Block 2 is what we're gonna do. And uh yeah, so this is what we've done in the last episode. But before we continue, um I made a few of these little thingies. So let's see if we can make this a little bit more quiet over here. So one, two, three. Let's see if that helps. Cause I know one didn't really because you can still hear them, eh? But it's a lot less than what it was. It's not as loud and annoying, which is good. So, all right. Uh, it's kind of like a faint little hum hum in our ears. So um, this is what we're collecting from just the mob drops, right? And this is so far what I decided that I'm going to keep from our loot collecting. Um, I've been letting it go. Uh, I haven't really separated much and I've been working solely on the filter. <clears throat> Uh, the filter being right hither. So we got uh, these items that I showed you up on the wall. They're, they're in here. So which is good. Um, and we're going to keep that going. Now there's a few things that we're going to... There's a few reasons why. Because I got some really cool items in here like this. You can get uh, item barrel connectors. The things that we need to uh, make for our own uh, items. Um, I need one more magma slime dirt thing and we can uh, plant these and get all the slime in the world that we need. Uh, these are really nice just to get uh, every once in a while for um, Botania. These are for mana and then nether wart. Well, we don't need to collect nether wart. We can just make another wart farm. So that's pretty good now. Um, so these things we don't need to collect randomly over here and waste space up here for. I did do that for the mushrooms though, because you never knew when you need mushrooms or this floor or fertilizer. Um, thought that was pretty good. Same with the inferior seeds or a base thing to start the whole inferior seed line. And then, uh, blaze rods, mana in the bottle. That's pretty awesome. I think that's pretty good. It's going to come in handy if we do a Britannia. and then, uh, some different types of ingots. So pig iron ingot and our I think the other one is cobalt. So we'll get into that too as well. Just throw these up there so we can have some light. Um, so yeah, other than that, I'm just going to let this go. And we're going to get into kind of something else today. So I'll come back and check that uh, later on. Um, but what I want to get into now that we have like um, uh, all of this good stuff going on. I want to get into our lit game conduits. And... I think that uh, this is the one that we're obviously going to be going for. We're not that far off. You got to gotta believe me. We're not that far off from this. The only really thing that's really holding us back to, to create all of this is the nether stars. And we just have to wait until we get enough materials to make another star um, factory. Which is uh, we're going to put uh, another killing another a wither killing machine here and then this is going to kill the wither and we're going to get his nether stars right um there's also a nether star chicken if i'm not mistaken as well so we'll be able to hook that up too and we'll be able to get stars so that's going to be like the beginning using these and whatever and but this is kind of like where we need to do because you need this kind of ingot in order to make these right so we're going to kind of get into start making this stuff here. So we're going to need this uh, popped chorus fruit. And uh, that's obviously just a uh, chorus fruit smelted. So that's kind of easy. Uh, then the end steel. We're going to need uh, end stone, dark steel, and obsidian. Okay, so the obsidian is easy. The end stone is relatively easy. I will get to how we're going to do that. Uh, dark steel. Now dark steel is made. Let's uh, go run this page here. We got iron, pulverized coal, and obsidian. Again, which is very easy to do. We can do all of this. It's going to take some time, but uh, we can do all this. We're going to have to upgrade our alloy smelters, I think. Uh, make the uh, the enhanced ones. So that way we can uh, do stuff a lot faster. Because we should be able to make this vibrant alloy stuff. And... All kinds of good crap. So we got a lot of crafting, a lot of things to do today. And oh my God, I'm kind of don't know where to start because <laughs> it's pretty overwhelming. I think um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by upgrading those machines. I think that would be the best thing to do, right? <clears throat> make those into the top tier ones. And then that way we can make the rest of the stuff 
faster. I think that would be probably the smartest way about going to do it. So let's go back to our little HUD over here. Alloy. So we got the alloy smelter, which you don't, oh, you do. Oh no, it's just furnaces or furnaces here. Then the enhanced, you don't need any of the previous ones for it. So we should just, unless you use this one, which I think three furnaces would be cheaper. No. Yeah. Three furnaces, definitely a cauldron is cheaper than making a whole. All right. So we'll do, we'll do one of these. That's what we'll try to do. We'll uh, get under there. So end steel is one of the things that we need in order to make it. But like I said, it won't be a problem because we can, we can do it. Right. So maybe we should start on the setup to make the end stone. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. So we can make end stone. And uh, where are you? There we go. So if we go over here, uh, go like this, and we go to the fluid one. That's the one I'm looking for. Because if you like right click or left click, you get a different result. Right click is what I'm used for, and right left click is how you get it, if I'm not mistaken. Like in the, I mean, anyways. So lava, glowstone, and end stone. So we don't want to use our reserves of glowstone to make that. So the best next thing is you guessed it we're making a chicken so another wart yellow makes a glowstone chicken now um i can make this process a little bit faster because we picked up something in the other room something that i forgot to show you um one of the stuff that we got here where is it here did i put it over here where is it over here? Ah, here it is. Acceleration wand, ladies and gentlemen. We also have a moving wand, which is pretty cool. So if you want to move like a block, well, you can like move a block. You can take a chest too, if you want, and put the chest back without losing its contents, which I think is kind of neat. See? So uh, it's just one block placement to another. I think that's kind of a cool little tool. Uh, we'll just put this up here for now. But the acceleration one is going to come in super, super handy for us when we do this. I'm going to grab my food, too, um, since I'm going to be running around a lot. And do we need anything else? All right, so it said we need a yellow chicken. So we got our yellow chickens. Now we grab our nether core chickens. That's awesome. Uh, so we'll go and we'll throw those two in there. Now we're just missing seeds. And I'll probably have to walk over here and get seeds. Let's grab what? Really? Now, if we grab uh, two of these and uh, we use the acceleration wand on it, well, actually, look at that. We already got a glowstone one. Let's do that again. See if we'll automatically get a glowstone one. No, you don't. That's pretty quick. There we go. So now we got our two glowstone ones, right? Uh, we'll put these guys back because we don't need them. So another quartz was here. And this guy was here. And unfortunately, we don't need you. So now we need these two, right? Now we need to make 10-10-10 uh, these guys. So we'll just toss those ones up there and see how slow it is. Well, apparently, if you do this, you can speed this up. If I'm not mistaken, that's how that works. Got a shift right click? No. It's not punching it. That's for darn sure. No, oh, maybe this is working. Hard to tell, really. Is the durability on this going down? Not even. So it doesn't work on this anymore. Right click on a block to speed things up. Equals. Mode equals. Switch to faster mode, fastest mode, fastest mode. All right. But then when I do that, I just, 
Okay, see there at the top, it looks like it's speedy up there. I gotta like shift right click though. Okay, so that works. So that should help me get to the 10, 10, 10 chickens a little bit quicker. So um, I'll do this until we get the 10, 10, 10 glowstone chickens. And then that way we'll have glowstone up the yin yang. And then, uh, so now we get three. So now we can replace one of those. <clears throat> do that again. Like I said, I'll do here until I get the 10, 10, 10s. And then uh, we'll hook up a an end stone machine. All right. So uh, now we got our 10, 10, 10 chickens, which took less than like, uh, not even 10 minutes with that one. So we can take these ones here. We can plop them there. Uh, those will be our first 10, uh, 10, 10, 10 chickens that should plop out glowstone and it should go into here. Technically, you should go into there. Let's see. Why are you not hooked up? Very possible. One, two, three. No, you're not. Okay, so always active and insert. There we go. Now I should have glowstone in here, though. Beautiful. All right. There. So now we have uh, glowstone chickens that are there. Uh, now what we need to go do is set up for a barrel. So it seems to me that I got everything that uh, we need ready, right? So um, the lava port is there. I'll have to take this down for just now. Um, I'll just put it up there for now. That'd be fine. Probably won't need it after a while, but anyways. Uh, so where's the center of this? The center of that is here. And I want the barrel in the center. So we'll just go like this and like that, right? Then the barrel always has to have lava in it. So maybe we can do something like this. So that way it comes down, right? And then the chicken with the roost. Oh, I forgot my... I guess we can just break it. We don't really need it. Well, so if I put the roost here, right? Or, yeah, that should still work. If I put the roost there, we don't really need to see the them, right? Now they're producing glowstone. Beautiful. So that's hidden. Um, then we need to get our fluid cables out here. So we need to connect fluid into that. So this should be beautiful, right? That should have a lava in it, which is perfect. Then if we grab these and grab this, first we'll uh, extract, always active, and we'll go insert. Then for this one here, we should go uh, always active. And what we'll do is we'll just toss a block here. Then that should be insert. And there. Perfect. So that should make us end stone. That's awesome. Very, very awesome. So that can be closed up like that. That looks absolutely beautiful. Then uh, what was it here? I want to go a block, right? Is that what we did or did we do the frame thing? I think we did the frame thing. Yeah, I think that's what we did. We did the frame one. So we'll do this one here. Bam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Um, then I said glowstone, right? Where is that beautiful glowstone? Oh. All the blocks look different in this game, eh? So I think it's near the end. Is that it? Glowstone. There we go. Bam. Look how nice that looks. All right, so that's that. Uh, I did bring some barrel upgrades. I figured only one each would be sufficient. I don't think any more than that we would need any more. So this is going to make clay up the yin-yang, so we'll have like 16,000 clay in there, which 
really don't think we really need to be able to hold that much, but that's only when we put it in there ourselves, right? Um, this will just generate end stone until we hit 16,000. And this is going to do the same thing with the obsidian. Since we're going to be needing quite a bit of this each going forth, right? Um, so now that we have end stone being generated, we can take a look at this thing here. So I guess the next thing to get into, do we do the frames? See, end steel casing chassis. Wow, okay, so really going to need lots of this end steel right off the bat, huh? Okay. That's fine, that's fine. So let's, can we do the, the vibrant alloy stuff? I'm sure that we can do. So we go here, go to alloy. So it's just resonant ender and molten energetic alloy, which is the stuff that I was making for those other ones. Aha. Uh -huh. Man. Okay. Which is uh, glowstone, gold, and redstone. Yeah. That was like a, a one for one. Each one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a one one one. Okay, so uh let me go ahead and make a bunch of that uh huh, this uh alloy. Um we know that it's uh glowstone. Redstone, I'm slowly running out of we should make a redstone chicken. <laughs> and then what else was this? Redstone Oh man, my horrible memory here. Vibrant alloy. Energetic. That is glowstone gold. Yes, gold. Gold and redstone. So, oh, we're running out of gold too. Interesting. Nice. All right, so we're going to have to skedaddle and try to get all this stuff back up and running so we can get more resources so i'll go and uh do some crafting off cam try to catch us up to where we need to be some smelting here and uh by the way look 1200 ingots so i told you we had 1200 ingots in each one of these um reason being is because i had a torch in there that's why like we had different amounts and it was trying to keep the mobs from spawning in there but um yeah, so I took the torches out, and that's what I realized that why we had 1,200 ingots. So I did put a glowstone lamp up there, but still getting mob spawning in here every once in a while, which is kind of horrible, but whatever. It is what it is, so we'll just plop in one of each there, and then I'll try to find some redstone here. At least, uh, at least 64 of it, and then uh, I'll go from there. So we are going to go ahead and make the uh, redstone chicken. It's a uh, rose red what else is it and a sand chicken which is very doable very very doable so uh here's our sand chicken so we'll throw those two in there i'll uh do the whole mating ritual thing we'll get our 10 10 10 chickens and then uh, uh where did i put that acceleration one now <laughs> all right so yeah i'll do that and uh we'll get on with the show here so what are we gonna get here yeah, there's two there perfect so we got our two redstone chicken that's pretty awesome so we'll put those in there and uh i'll let them start to breed while i do what i gotta do while i find the other things here um there we go i did make a garbage can that way we can get rid of just stuff lying around i don't have to throw it on the ground anymore so we'll pretend that it was never in my inventory and that i didn't have to go look for it over there yeah yeah okay um so just absolutely beautiful wonderful we have a uh another 10 10 10 set of chickens going on here so we'll just uh throw them bad boys right down here make sure that uh bottom one here is uh doing its thing so always active and insert and now we should have a redstone up the zing zang coming in awesome 
So we'll do like we always do, put that on. So now over time, we'll get uh, all kinds of redstone and this is going to be wicked. Totally, totally wicked. So now we don't have to really worry about redstone. We should be able to just uh, go about our thing and keep doing what we got to do. So now this should be seven blocks of that. See, that's not very much really, if I'm going to be honest with you. But uh, we can start with that. I had 30 of it left here, so that's a good start. That's a good start. Um, I found some in my chests. So soon we're going to get into actually fulfilling these things and start putting disk drives in there. Slow but surely, slow but surely. But uh, I want to deal with the power thing first and try to protect us future-wise for power. Um, so for today, I think uh, for the conduits, right? We'll just make a small batch of uh, these ones uh, here. Uh, not too many of them, but we'll make a small batch of these. So that means I'm going to have to go and get some of these, uh, more of this conduit binder. So I'll make that off cam. Um, that means this stuff here is pretty much all I'll scrap. Um, oh, look at that. More en en energetic alloy. <laughs> look at that. We're going to have all kinds now. Oh, that's good. Um, that's what we need, uh, to mix for the other ones, right? Um, just making sure I'm using the right ones here. It was to make the vibrant alloy. See? It's all coming back to me. Molten energetic alloy. Is that what that is? Energetic, energetic alloy, yeah. So, this stuff here with the, uh, <laughs> holy crap. Well, I was totally off track of what I was like thinking of what I was needing. So we just need ender pearls now, eh? Yeah, resident ender. I should have just left that all in there. Okay, so I can just do this. Take these out. I'll let those cure. Come in here. That should be it. There shouldn't be anything else, right? So if I just let that sit in there, this should all just re-smelt, which would be fine. Then I just need to get the ender pearls. Okay, so let's go get some ender pearls. All right, so we got 148 ingots in there total. So uh, let's just toss one of these in here and oh boy, it could be a while. All right, so uh, let's just toss them all in. Hey, there we go. Yeah, this could be a while. All right, so the first batch just melted up. We'll see uh, what it's going to get us. This was 64. There's still nine blocks left. Still took quite a bit, so uh, that's pretty good. All right, so let's grab another stack. We'll plop that in there, and we'll see what that gets us. So we're now smelting out uh, the vibrant alloy. Uh, that vibrant alloy is going to be good to help us uh, get these uh, bio gears, right? Um, which we'll have to make the uh, original Infinity Bio gears. But before I think we do that, <laughs> kind of like bouncing a little bit back and forth between this and chickens today, which is kind of a good thing because we're getting a bunch of these done, right? Um, the We're going to have to do the Iron Chicken, which is just a bone white and a flint. The Obsidian Chicken is a Gunpowder Chicken and a Snowball Chicken. Uh... Snowball chicken is a lapis and a log, which I don't know if we got or not or whatever, but anyways. Then the water one is the gunpowder, which is flint and sand. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'll try to do those ones off cam. I'll do a little montage of me uh, doing all those. So I think I'm going to get those up and running. Uh, that way we can see we got redstone so that way we can uh, we can get these different ones so that way we can do my goal behind that one is to get the dark steel right so if we go like this go to the alloy the end steel go to here we can at least do a dark steel chicken right that that has a chicken so we got a dark steel chicken which is the obsidian and iron chicken right that's the whole purpose behind that so if we do that, we can get a dark steel and then we can kind of just come over here and grab the ingots instead and, you know, do uh, it like that. So, yeah, so that's how I'm going to start. I'm going to start uh, getting these uh, 
ready to go. So we'll start with the iron chicken, which is uh, bone white and flint. One more iron. There we go. We have the iron chickens being made. And then the next one is uh, nether quartz and coal. Uh, so I got nether quartz. I don't have coal yet, do I? No, I don't. All right. So how do we get the coal one? Another uh, quartz coal, which is a log and flint. There we go. There's one. There's two. All right, perfect. Uh, the water. So snowball chicken is a log and a lapis. There we go. Now we got a snowball chicken. That's perfect. Now what's next? Um, gunpowder. So it's sand and flint. Perfect. All right. So here we go. We got the uh, iron, the coal, the gunpowder, and the snowball. <laughs> All right, so the next step for this is the uh, lava chicken, which is the coal and the nether quartz. Bam, there we go. Got ourselves a lava chicken. That's good. That's good. Well, next one is uh, the water chicken, which is the gunpowder and the snowball. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so we'll put the uh, gunpowders away. We'll put our snowball ones away. We got our two water ones now. That's awesome. There, now I'll start uh, ten, ten, tending these two right here. And then we'll get to creating the obsidian one. So uh, I'll be right back once again. So now uh, we got the uh, water and the lava chicken. Now they make lava eggs and water eggs. It seems to me that these are like buckets. So anyways, whatever. I mean, we don't really need them, but um, we need the chickens, though. We need the chickens. So do I have seeds on me? I do. All right, so let's put these guys in here, and uh, hopefully we get that uh, obsidian chicken. Now we got the uh, obsidian chicken, and the other one is the iron chicken. We should be able to take these two, and we should be able to breed them, and hopefully get... A dark steel chicken. All right, so uh, we got our two dark steel chicken now. That's pretty awesome. Use the uh, the wand to help uh, make that go a little bit quicker. So we'll put our obsidian there. We'll put our iron chickens there. These two dark steel. We'll start breeding them. All right. So the moment we've been waiting for, dark steel chickens. Yes. Bam. So now we will now have. As much dark steel as we could possibly ever have, which is absolutely awesome. Here we go. Dark steel is about to come in and voila. Dark steel ingots, babies. All right. So that's that. Now, um, we didn't accomplish as much as I would have liked to today. Well, we did really like we did a lot of chickens. That's a lot of chickens, man. And uh, we're a lot one step closer to getting our uh, our conduits, right? That we're after here. So how far along were we? We have, let's see, we have the end steel thing going. Uh, well, the end stone, sorry. We got the end stone going. We now have dark steel, okay? And we have obsidian. We have these three things being created. Now we just need to um, upgrade our alloy smelter once we get enough of this stuff made. And we'll be able to make uh, all kinds of this good stuff. We could probably also maybe use the smelteries out there as well. Um, and throw a bunch of that in there and see how that goes. Uh, that I'm willing to try as well since we have four smelteries out there. We could fill those up pretty easily. So, uh, I guess before we call it quits, um, going to go get, I think it's this side. Yeah. Going to go get our thing about while we're over here, our quest book. Probably didn't need to get the quest book. Um, bam, bam, bam. All right. So before we go, we got a lot of quests to cash in here. Lots of quests. Been kind of neglating, uh, neg Neglect, ne neglect, neglecting. <laughs> that was a horrible word. All right, so let's see what we get. This uh, four times water mill. Okay, now that's really awesome. About the GP thing, where we're talking about getting the uh, infinite flight, totally awesome. Uh, Draconic cores. That's good for late game stuff. Uh, let's check this stuff out here. I got these from Mob Drops, by the way. I didn't create these. 
Um, a simple sag mill. Okay. Uh, basic flux storage. That's pretty good. We can add that to our system, right? Then over here inside the chickens, we have uh, this here. A cobblestone generator. That could come in handy. Uh, a nether star crux. Is this like a whole bunch of nether stars? I think it is. <laughs> if that's the case, that's super awesome. Uh, mechanical crafters. These are pretty good too. Those could come in handy later on. Uh, epic bacon. Not so epic. All right, so that's just more food. So let's go over here to the cows. Now the cows is a pretty big, that's a pretty big section to do. That's going to take us a while to do. So we got the uh, the water cow, apparently. That's pretty good. Another one. Nice. And then we got this here. More epic bacon. I thought I got more different types of cows, but that's fine. That's fine. So we'll go in here and we'll have a look at these here. Um, what do these do? Let's find out. R. So, this is what you need to get to make them, but what are they used for? So, you put them underneath something to get another star essence. That's kind of a good thing for that. Um, here. Curse of Vanishing. Okay, so they're also a drop chance from something here is this thalmcraft we haven't done thalmcraft yet ever before so that's kind of new so nether star seeds we're actually going to need these so that's kind of awesome that we got those so uh, eventually we'll we'll get into making these so that's going to be future good future 10 stuff so that's wicked um well i think that's where we're going to call it an episode everybody uh, we did quite a bit of stuff today. We got chickens. Uh, we got uh, steps towards making uh, late game alloys. So that way we can um, start making some really, really cool stuff. So like this is wicked. That's wicked. I'm going to go put that in place. Uh, we got another simple sag mill. So we're up to two of those now. Uh, draconic cores. These are going to come in super handy. The bacon and the mechanical crafters. Um, so we're up to four mechanical crafters now. I'm just going to take these out of here. And I'll put my epic bacon in there instead. So that's we're running out of room. Running out of room. Running out of lots of room. So that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.